This video demonstrates using Gaussian and Gauss View to perform a conformational search and predict a Boltzmann averaged VCD spectrum. We will show how to use two different software applications for locating conformations the optional GMMX module to Gauss View, the Conflex application from Conflex Corporation. In this demonstration, we will be studying the linear diterpenoid elegandyle. Diterpenoids are uncommon in nature due to their olefenic bonds being prone to cardiocabion olefin cyclization. However, elegandyl and other diterpenoid compounds are found in Bifocaria bifurcate, a brown seaweed native to the shores of the North Atlantic Ocean. We want to predict VCD spectrum for elegandyl. Here are the IR and VCD spectra for this molecule from the original study, along with the experimental details. The VCD spectrum is on top. These researchers found excellent agreement between calculation and experiment. Our study will consist of several phases. First, we will search for conformations of our molecule. We will demonstrate two tools for this process. Next, we will perform low-level ab initio optimizations for all the located conformations. Third, we will perform high-level optimizations for the set of unique structures produced by the second step. Finally, we will run frequency calculations, including VCD for each unique conformation. We will use the individual results to compute the conformationally averaged VCD spectrum in Gauss view. The first step is to locate conformations for consideration. There are many tools available for this task, and we demonstrate two of them here the GMMX add-on module to Gauss View, and the Conflex Conformational Analysis application. We begin by opening the GMMX Conformer Calculation dialog via the Calculate menu. This window displays the options available to set up a GMMX calculation. The Force Field option specifies the molecular mechanics force field to use. We retain the default force field of MMFF94 which is a general-purpose force field designed for organic molecules. The method dropdown specifies the type of calculation to run. We keep the default of conformer search. We retain the energy window default value of 3.5 kcal per mole for this demo. This field specifies the maximum energy difference for the conformer set. Conformations that fall outside of this range are discarded. Note that production calculations typically use a higher value for this parameter. We leave the max search setting at 10,000. It specifies the maximum number of conformers to examine. We also keep exclude epimers and exclude double bond stereoisomers checked. Exclude epimers says to discard candidate structures which are a different diastereomer than the current structure. Exclude double bond stereoisomers says to discard ones that correspond to bond rotations about double bonds. Note that these two items apply only to the Cartesian search method, which we will consider next. The search method section contains three options, bonds, Cartesian, and both. In a Cartesian search, each of the heavy atoms is moved by some random distance in each of the x, y, and z dimensions. It is a good method for exploring the conformational space about a local minima. In the bonds method, each of the selected bonds in the list are rotated by a random amount. This technique normally provides large changes in the conformation of a molecule, and thus is a good method for hopping between local minima. If applicable, the bonds method also works with ring systems, which can also be individually selected or excluded. Since we are interested in finding the maximum number of conformers, we keep the default of both for the search method. However, we uncheck the double bonds in the bonds list so that double bond rotations will not be made with the bonds method. Any conformations found by the Cartesian method, which invoke double bond rotations, will be discarded since exclude double bond stereoisomers is checked. The bond angle is included as the final column in the list. After we click Submit, we are prompted to save a GMMX file and then start the job. When the GMMX job completes, 
Gauss view will prompt us to open its results file. We will now demonstrate the conformational search process using the Conflex software from Conflex Corporation. Conflex is designed for high efficiency and exhaustive searching, especially of the lower energy regions of the conformational space. Conflex proceeds with its search as follows. Beginning with the initial structure, various local perturbations are applied to generate new structures. These are all optimized using molecular mechanics by default and the resulting unique ones are retained in a data store. Conflex then identifies the next starting structure to be examined, and the process repeats. Note that you can also invoke Gaussian for optimization when Gaussian is installed on the computer with Conflex. The conformational search proceeds via an intelligent algorithm designed to thoroughly search the lowest energy regions. The search proceeds downstream as long as possible in an effort to locate portions of the conformational space with many promising candidate structures. Afterwards, high energy regions are also explored until all structures within the region defined by the user-specified energy limit have been examined. Conflex uses several techniques to modify a starting structure in order to generate additional conformations, including corner flapping and edge flipping for endocyclic bonds and stepwise rotation for acyclic bonds. These techniques are designed to mimic a barrier crossing step in the elementary process of thermal conformation interconversion. The corner flapping process is equivalent to simultaneously rotating two endocyclic bonds extending from the corner atom in disrotatory fashion. It results in the corner atom moving to the opposite side of the plane defined by two alpha atoms and the midpoint of the two beta atoms in the ring. Edge flipping consists of simultaneously flapping a pair of adjacent corner atoms in opposite directions such that the bond between the corners changes its rotation. For acyclic bonds, stepwise rotation is applied to all internal bonds, which produces many new candidate structures each time the technique is applied. Here we have started the Conflex software and have already opened the file containing the structure for Elegendile. It appears in the main molecule window. To initiate the conformational search, we select Conflex from the Calculation menu and select Conformation Search from Calculation Type. We also set the search limit to 5.0, which sets the maximum energy range for the conformation set in kcal per mole. Finally, we click Submit to start calculation. The Job Manager opens once the calculations have started. It reports various information about the job and its progress. Here, the state field indicates that it is currently running. As the job continues, the remaining cycle and estimated remaining time fields will provide estimates of how much of the computation remains to be done. Once it does, you can double-click on its entry in the Job Manager, and the SDF file containing the located structures will open in a new molecule window. You can also open this SDF file in Gauss View. The resulting conformations are listed in the property box at the lower left in order of increasing energy and population. You can view any conformation by selecting it from the list. We now return to Gauss View to continue our VCD study of Elegendile. When the conformational search is finished, we open the corresponding SDF output file in Gauss View. The remaining steps of our study will be the same following either conformational search process. For this system, the conformation set was identical for both applications. When we open an SDF file, we see a window displaying the total number of unique conformations the program found after discarding duplicates, 40 in this case. We click Select All to select all 40 conformations, and we open them into a single molecule group. We can view the relative energies of the various conformations using the Results Energy Plot menu item. In this case, all of the conformations are distinct since all of their predicted energy values are different. This table shows our results so far. We will now perform a low-level optimization on each conformation. We navigate to the Gaussian Calculation Setup dialog and specify Optimization as the job type. We will use the APFD-DFT functional with a 631GD basis set. Next, we go to the Solvation panel and specify chloroform as the solvent. 
Before submitting the job, we click on the Assign to Molecule Group button. This will apply the current calculation settings to all of the molecules in the group. Clicking the Submit button allows us to save the job files. In the Save dialog, we click Advanced, and the Advanced Save Structure Files dialog opens. We change the Save Molecule Group option from No to Yes, separate file for each molecule, in order to save each molecule into a separate job file. We right-click inside the list to open the Context menu and select Include Molecule Numbers in File Names from the All Items submenu. Each file now has a unique name. We click Save to save all of the jobs, and then go on to run all of the jobs in Gaussian. Most of the optimizations run smoothly, but a few require the Calc FC option to reach a stationary point. When all of the jobs have finished, we open all their formatted checkpoint files at once, ensuring that Read Intermediate Geometries is not selected and that a single new molecule group for all files is the target. Next, we select Results Molecule Group Table. When the table opens, we sort the confirmations by their energies. We examine the various entries to locate and remove duplicates. For example, Confirmers 1 and 16 have essentially the same energy. We examine and compare their structures using a second view. We can see that they are the same. We remove Confirmer 16 using the controls in the Molecule Group table. We next compare the Confirmers in frames 5 and 37, and again remove the latter as a duplicate. However, when we compare frames 26 and 12, we see that the structures are different, and so we keep both of them. We remove all other duplicates from the molecule group and end up with 37 unique structures. For the purposes of this video, we discard ones with energies more than 4 kcals per mole from the lowest energy structure, selecting 16 structures for high-level optimizations. We've updated the summary table with our new results. Then we set up and run high-level optimizations. These jobs all succeed, although one optimization requires restarting with opt equals calc FC from an intermediate point. For the purposes of this demonstration, we select the confirmations within 2.5 kcals per mole of the lowest energy for frequency equals VCD calculation, a total of seven structures. We open the Gaussian Calculation Setup dialog and set the job type to Frequency. We select the Compute VCD checkbox. Next, we specify our standard model chemistry. We also set chloroform as the solvent. As before, we apply these settings to the molecule group, save each molecule to its own job file, and then run the jobs in Gaussian. Once all of the jobs are complete, we again open the results file into a single molecule group. We will use GaussView's Mixture Spectra feature to compute and display the conformationally averaged VCD spectrum. We open the Vibrations dialog. We scale the frequencies by 0.98 to match the original study. We then click the Spectra button, and the IR and the VCD spectra for the second molecule appear. We then select Mixture Spectra from the menu. Once it opens, we focus on the VCD spectrum, which contains all of the predicted spectra superimposed. We open the plot properties and modify the direction and range of the x-axis. We also change the IR peak half width at half height value to 8 inverse centimeters for comparison with the original publication. Next, we open the mixture editor in order to produce the computationally averaged curve. First, we check Use Boltzmann Population as Weights. This applies weightings based on each confirmation's free energy. We also sort the confirmers based on their Boltzmann population. We can see that the three lowest energy confirmers will dominate the Boltzmann average spectrum, so we use the plot style fields to display the spectra for the lowest energy confirmers as curves, and we remove the spectra of the others by selecting None. Note the data for the undisplayed confirmers is still included in the Boltzmann average, 
as long as the corresponding active checkbox is selected. Finally, we add the computationally averaged spectrum using the controls in the Combination section at the bottom of the dialog. We specify a thick dotted red line for the curve. Here is the resulting display. The combination spectrum generally follows that of the lowest energy conformation, with adjustments coming from other conformations. We can now compare our predicted spectra to the experimental data. There is reasonable agreement between the two. Here is a summary of our complete study.